Hello all, this is Halloween, and if you love making costumes and Halloween and cosplay as much as I do, you may want to subscribe because I'm going to be showing you how to make some awesome costumes without breaking the bank, maybe even using some items you already have at home. In today's episode, we will be recreating the very beautiful housewife from Hanna-Barbera's Modern Stone Age family, the Flintstones. Wilma Flintstone herself. Let's get started. This is all we're gonna need for Wilma Flintstone. I had initially bought this dress, which is a one shoulder linen dress, which is really cute, but it was too big for one thing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use some of this dress to make the skirt for this bodysuit that I bought. It snaps in the crotch. <laughs> I've got this really great chunky white beaded necklace that looks like stones. It even comes with matching earrings. I got that off of Amazon. Again, I will put in the description what I bought and how much I paid for it. This was a very inexpensive costume. And here I bought a hair weave. It's an orange hair weave uh, that I'm going to use in my hair. I'm going to try and film that as much as possible so you know how I'm doing it. And then I bought an orange hairspray paint. Also got one of these little perfect bun makers that I think I'll be using as well. But that's it. No shoes. If you are going to wear a shoe, I would suggest wearing a flip-flop that has a clear top on it. Clear straps. So that way you do look barefoot. And you can probably find that pretty much anywhere. First, we're going to work on our skirt. Let's get started. We're going to start creating our skirt for our Wilma Flintstone dress. It's kind of a dress. It's kind of like a little ice skating outfit to me. But anyway, all I'm going to do is I'm going to use from this dress this here to here. And I'm going to cut a line straight across the top here. Getting as much material as I can all the way to that line. And then right here at this line. And just cut that middle piece out. I've got some elastic, some needle and thread, and some fabric cutting scissors, and that is all we're going to need for this project. trying to achieve with Wilma was very trial and error because I'd never worked with this kind of hair weave before and this is a track which means it's just attached at the top um, but this hair weave proved to be very difficult to do what I was wanting to do with it you're going to need some elastic bands and some smaller ones depending on how thick your hair is I have fine hair but a lot of fine hair if that makes sense but it's not real thick at all. So I can use these. We're gonna be doing three ponytails, one in the front and one on each side, and then one right on top of the head with the thicker elastic bands. But I will show you as I go. And we will be adding the hair weave in. This particular hair is called Big Braid. You can find it in any ethnic hair store. It's not connected at the top like a track would be. It's just loose hair. So it will make a little bit of a mess, but it's thicker for this application, for what we're trying to do with it. It'll have more body and stand up more. Hopefully it turns out all right. I'm sure it will. Let's start that process.
ever since I made a video, even though it hasn't. It literally was like a couple weeks ago. <laughs> I feel like I'm on a really red hair housewife kick right now. Ah, it's just what's going on in my head right now. So <laughs> that's what you're getting. But I promise you, there will be other costumes, a lot of them this year. I've got them all planned out and ready to go and ready for you. So a little bit of everything. The hair is done. Now, I decided to wear Sclera contact lenses. This is a full eye cover lens. They're hard to wear. You know how I say I see things the way I see them? I see Wilma Flintstone and I think of the big black button eyes. I thought, why not wear Sclera lenses? And to give her a more feminine look, I added some pretty bold lashes so that the Sclera lens is not too scary. It's a scary lens, but also uh, I wanted to say if you do decide to wear the Sclera lenses, this is a costume lens. It's not made to wear out for hours and hours and hours. If you're gonna go out in the lenses, you'll just take your clean carrying case with fresh lens solution and carry that with you so that if you have to drive home or they get uncomfortable throughout the night, you can take them out and put them in your carrying case. It's just a tip but I promise you, you'll be glad you did. And you may wanna also carry some eye drops that if your lenses get dry, you can drop some eye drops in there and that will help with that. Outside of that, you're gonna to wanna to wear white panties. You know, you're wearing a white bodysuit and little skirt, so you're gonna wear something white underneath so that black panties or you know leopard print or whatever are not showing underneath. But I thought the Scalera lens looked really good with this. I think it's all gonna come together and be very cool once it's all done. For this costume, the rest of the look is very easy. So I had already put on my foundation before I put my lenses in and I put my eyelashes on. That's pretty much all I did. Foundation, actually a little bit of powder, my lenses and my eyelashes, which I always do off camera anyway. I showed you how I did my hair. I think it looks very 50s housewife, very, you know, like the realistic version of Wilma Flintstone, which is kind of what I'm going for. I'm gonna add a little bit of pinky blush. I have a black eyeliner and I have my Ben Nye red crayon. I would suggest any kind of red lipstick, you know, would work. You know, a bright, bold red lip is what she has. And we're just gonna start in with our eyebrows like we always do. Just give her a nice black brow. This won't take much time at all. This is a very easy look once you got the contact lenses in. Oh, another thing I will suggest to you, watch a video on how to put in Scalera lenses if you have not ever done it before. Because it's different. You're gonna be guiding it under your top eyelid and into your bottom. So it's very different putting them on than a regular contact lens. I was looking online at all the Flintstones costumes and I just was not impressed. Like you can literally make a Flintstones costume from just stuff you have laying around the house. I bought my one shoulder uh, bodysuit because I just did. You can make that skirt out of anything. If you have a skirt, an extra skirt, white skirt laying around the house, some white material, whatever you have. We're coming up on the 20 year anniversary of the live action Flintstones movie. You remember with John Goodman, Rosie O'Donnell, I don't remember who else was in it, but that's crazy. I can't believe it was that long ago. And what I thought was really funny when I was looking at costumes online, they have a rubber mask and it's a Barney rubble. It's not even a Fred Flintstone and it looks like John Goodman. I thought that was so funny. Like, it actually looks like him. Just some good old housewife eyebrows. Oh, for all of you smaller women out there, you're gonna wanna wear a strapless bra because you're going to be a one shoulder. It's a one shoulder ensemble for you girls with the bigger jugs like myself. It's going to be a struggle. You know, I would just get something to put over the main area 
<laughs> so you're not saying hello to everybody <laughs> and uh, you know try not to wear a bra if you can because there's just let's just be real strapless bras were not made for people with big jugs they just weren't they're uncomfortable and your jugs are always trying to push the bra down you're constantly lifting it up it's just they don't make one for for really big jugs so that's just a fact sorry if anyone has one that works for bigger jugs put it in the comments below because believe me i would like to get one please do share because the struggle is real believe it or not we're almost done i was thinking about and if this doesn't look good i'll just rub it off i was thinking about and if this doesn't look good i'll just rub it off but she's got a little like triangle on her nose she's a cartoon character right i don't I, but i don't know how it'll look i might just accent the nose a little bit with this black pencil how many of you grew up watching hanna barbera yogi bear and the flintstones and the jetsons like that was my stuff growing up i don't know how this looks but i really just kind of want it to be an accent I had eyelash glue on my fingers. Now all the cat hair is coming in the air and like sticking to my fingers, which should be really awesome when I go to take these contacts out. What do you think? I don't know. I don't really know. But when she's looking straight on, she's got like a triangle nose. Let's do it. It's totally optional. You don't have to do that part. But I'm gonna put a little concealer on the tip. Maybe a little inside my nose. <laughs> There's like that one hair that got concealer on it now that, now I look like I have a booger, so. Now I'm gonna do something that I'm not a fan of. It's a trend out there right now. Have you seen these women that do like a circle for their upper lip? It's like a circle. Maybe they're just trying to outline the outside, but it ends up looking like they have a round upper lip. So we're gonna actually do that for this costume because she does have a round upper lip. I'm doing that with black. And then I'm gonna fill in with red. Obviously, with the Flintstones, if you're going as a couple or even a group, you have a lot of options. So there's the Rubbles, and then you've got the Flintstones, right? So Wilma and Fred and Barney and Betty. There's a dinosaur, right, named Dino. <laughs> you can really go as the whole group or even just a couple's costume. And if you have a couple with a baby, there's Pebbles and Bam Bam, right? are two couples that both have babies. So, I mean, you really have a lot of options. If you want a cheap, easy costume that can be quick to throw together, this is gonna be one of them. Cause a caveman costume, if you look online at the costumes that are out there, I mean, you're gonna look at that and be like, uh, I can totally make this. They're just so simple. I don't know why anybody would even pay $30 for it. And then you gotta pay for shipping and everything. Just make it yourself. It's so easy to find stuff in a thrift store that you can just that you can just transform and, and do it yourself. Some of this is my own interpretation. Like, you know, the eyes and, and the lashes. It's just something that I thought would make it look more Wilma Flintstone. But obviously you can do it however you like. So I'm filling in my little round upper lip and my bottom lip. And another thing I'm gonna do is give her a little bit of blush just to accent her features. When you're going out, you're gonna wanna take yourself a little purse, carry your makeup, carry your lipstick and your, your black liner so that you can reapply as the night goes on. A little pink. Oh, and I also just wore the earrings because it came with the necklace. This was a set I bought on Amazon, and I thought it looked very Wilma Flintstone. So I 
and it was a really good deal too. So why not wear the earrings that came with it? Let's go get dressed. All dressed up and ready for photos. today's look. The hair is wild. I am so pleased with the way it turned out. It's perfect. And if you want to do it like this, I did show that in the video. For the hair, big braid, any ethnic hair supply store, they have them everywhere. And only six dollars for that big bag of hair I got. You get three big bundles for six bucks. So it's very inexpensive to go this route. The hairspray paint I think costs like $10, but if you actually get it at Halloween time, I think it's like five bucks. I just didn't have any, so I had to buy it like full price on Amazon for 10 bucks. I did end up wearing heels, but they're clear. This is what I would suggest you wear if you like heels so that it appears that you're barefoot, but you're not. So if you like heels, I don't personally like heels. I'd wear like a flip-flop with a clear strap on it. So it appears like you're a cave woman. You know, they don't wear shoes. That does it for today's episode. If you haven't already, please remember to like, subscribe, and share the video. Maybe leave a comment down below. And I'll see you next time.